and it's just like you're spending $200 plus on these perfumes, come on. So you should be getting these facials probably like once a month. <laughs> Your girl ain't got 250 to be given out. y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video this one i can really say is going to help you guys save some coin we all know that the cost of living is crazy right now your girl is trying to save her money and i know y'all are also trying to save your coins for a rainy day so so i have some tips here today on some of my beauty routines, pamper routines, whatever you wanna call them, that have saved me a whole bunch of money, you guys, because I am the queen of, you know, wanting to look good, wanting to invest my money, no matter how much really the cost is, just to feel confident, and we should all definitely have some kind of beauty pamper routine to feel confident and good about ourselves. But y'all, it could cost, it's a lot of money and you know, we don't all have it like that or we may have some money, but we wanna save it, we wanna invest it, we wanna travel and we don't wanna have to spend all this money on all these different beauty routines because for me, it's a little annoying. So anyway, I thought that I would film a video today where I'm just telling you guys some of the ways that I do things from home and it has saved me money and I still look good, I feel good, and I do not regret stopping going to get these things done professionally because I can do them myself, okay? So the first one that I wanna get to is pedicure. So y'all, before y'all be like, what, pedicures? What I mean is I definitely still go and get my pedicures, but let me tell y'all, instead of me going like I used to, every two weeks when number one, I get gel on my toes. So if you guys get gel, you know that it lasts a really long time. Like I can go about a month with my toes still looking good because of getting gel nail polish. So because of that, the main reason why I still go and get pedicures shorter than the month is because the back of my, the back of my feet, y'all, <laughs> and the calluses, the dead skin that grows up under your feet, it drives me crazy and I just can't. It's summertime, so come on, like we wanna show our feet and we gotta make sure that all that dead skin is off. So what I have been doing, y'all, is I'll either use like a callus scrubber, but right now, I just purchased this Ulta foot file and basically what I do is I'll do my shower and at the end of the shower, when my feet are nice and damp and moisture, I'll go in with this foot file and just get the hard areas of my skin. And if it's really bad, I'll go in with like a callus remover gel, let that sit for a little while. Now that you can't do while you're like in the shower because what I like to do is I'll put the callus remover on my feet and I'll do wrap it in saran wrap, let it sit literally how they do it in the nail salon. And then I'll go in with the pumice or something like this, a foot file. And that you guys is going to save you money. You don't have to be going up in there getting pedicures every two weeks. Because let me tell y'all, I used to pay about $30 maximum for my pedicures about, I would say four years, four to five years ago. And it's almost like after after the C word came, everything just changed. The prices, especially at the nail salon, have doubled, tripled. And I'm like, I just can't do it. So my pedicures currently cost me $60 and that's before tip, y'all. And I just can't see myself spending that every two to three weeks. So. Like I said, to save me some money and prolong me going, I just definitely make sure that I'm using this on my feet and my nails look good. Like right now my toes look good, but I keep cracking my big toenail. So now I gotta go earlier to get another pedicure, but yes, definitely you guys, if you wanna save money, try that because that has definitely helped your girl. Another thing you guys that I have noticed that I have been doing and I'm like, why do you do this? And that is, 
I will go and buy perfume that I really like and I will buy the big size bottle. And me and my mom were just talking about this because y'all, I thought I was bad, but my mom has literally every perfume that you can think of and it's just full bottles of expensive perfume everywhere and I'm like, you know what, I do the same thing. Maybe it's hereditary, but I will buy perfume, y'all, these big full-size bottles, and I'll spray it, but I have so many that I end up never even using the whole bottle, and it either gets thrown away or I have to give it away, and it's just a waste of money because, again, these perfumes are not, are not cheap, especially if you get these higher-end or these niche fragrances. They're a lot of money, so what I have been doing lately to save my coin and just make sure that I'm not wasting and buying excessive products that I know I'm not gonna finish. I've been getting like the smaller sizes or the travel sizes of the perfumes that I really like. And so y'all, I have been loving everything that Kayali comes out with. So um, I've been buying like these travel sizes and then I have um, the MFK, this is Satin Mood. I also have the Baccarat Rouge in these travel sizes. And um, I just bought this flower bomb scent um, from Sephora the other day. And I begin travel sizes because y'all, it is just really more cost effective. And because I get so many perfumes, I know at least I have a better chance of going through those perfumes by buying the travel size because I literally, before I cut on the camera, was looking at all my full size perfumes and I haven't even made a dent in them, y'all. And like they say, as perfume scents, the scent is gonna change, like, and it gets real hot in the bathroom where my perfumes are, so that could change the scent. And it's just like you're spending $200 plus on these perfumes, come on. So that's what I've been doing, and I find myself going more towards those smaller bottles and using them all. I mean, as you can see, this one's almost done, and this is the Yum Pistachio Gelato. And um, I had originally bought the full size of this, and I'm like, I just felt bad, number one, because I'm like, I spent like $200 on this perfume. I probably won't even finish the whole bottle. And if I do find myself using this a lot, which you guys can see, I may just go ahead and invest and buy the large bottle, but I just feel like these are better for me because I can get through my perfumes and if I really like, like it, I can choose to invest in the larger bottle or just buy another one of the travel sizes, but that has definitely saved your girls some money. The next thing is shaving. So I know a lot of you girls may go and get your body wax, get you know your little areas waxed, but I don't because waxing can be expensive, but for me it's really just painful. Um, I've had a couple experiences and I told myself I just cannot get waxed but I know that a lot of you guys go and get waxed and everything you don't like any hair but I'm going to say that shaving you can shave and have that smooth baby skin as well without having to go and get waxed every few weeks and you know it's just a lot of investing a lot of your time and your coins. So what I like to do is, and I think the best thing to do if you decide, well, instead of waxing, I'm gonna shave at home, is you wanna have some aftercare. So I know we all know with shaving, and I'm not gonna go into all of that, how to shave in a downward motion, the way your hair grows, we all should know that. But like for instance, the products that you use, I would definitely recommend to invest in some good products and you can get that smooth baby skin effect that you get when you go and get waxed. I like to use Tree Hut Shave Oil, Tropic, Tropic Glow is a good one. And this just helps, you know, the razor really shave your skin nice and smooth so you don't get any nicks or ingrown hairs. And what has been helping me is shave oil. So Truly has a really good shave oil. It's called Glazed Donut. I know I've told you guys about this a million times. And this is just going to help you, you know, moisturize the skin because shaving can be very absolutely drying. So you want to make sure that after you get out the shower and you shave that you have some kind of um, post-shave routine. So definitely a shave oil is, a necess is necessary. And then also, and I know, and I've showed you guys this before, but I kind of just came across this recently. So I want to show you guys and remind you again, but I came across this Vanish PFB and it's basically just a roller ball. 
and basically this is gonna help with ingrown hairs. It's gonna brighten your intimate area after shaving. It's going to help with razor bumps and it's just overall a very good product. And y'all, I have been using this product and I definitely have seen results. My skin has been a whole lot brighter. I haven't had any ingrown hairs after shaving and I am infamous, y'all. For getting ingrown ha hairs or just razor bumps in my bikini line and I definitely shaved and I did not see any and after using this Vanish PFB so just making sure that if you decide you want to start shaving from home instead of getting waxing because that's going to save you money just make sure that you have a really good post shave routine and I'm telling you guys that's going to save you money and I have never had the feeling of wanting to go and get waxed. Another big thing for me is my teeth. I need my teeth to be white. Y'all, I have this routine that I'm about to tell you guys that has saved me money. I have not been doing as of now because your girl has just been in a lazy mood, but your girl is back. So anyway, I have not been whitening my teeth as I should, but I am big on teeth whitening. But let me tell y'all, like at my dentist, I believe he charges around $800 for teeth whitening. And I'm like, I'm not giving you $800 to wipe my teeth. And then a month or so from now, I'm going to need my teeth probably whiten, whiten again because I do drink lots of coffee. So I came across this brand called Moon and they have a whole whitening system teeth whitening system and it comes in this cute little pouch and let me tell you guys I was very like not optimistic about this brand because I have tried Crest I have tried all the teeth whitening systems that they sell at like Target and they just didn't really work for me it was just like so so very lackluster results until I came across this moon brand let me tell y'all the first time I tried this and took it off. I was in disbelief at how white my teeth were like I had just stepped out of the dental chair. So basically it's super simple. You get this mouth guard, you press it, it turns blue. And then um, what you're gonna do is take, and it comes with these whitening strips. You take the whitening strips, you put them on your top and your lower teeth and then you put this mouth guard in and literally it's gonna take five minutes and y'all, I'm telling you, y'all are going to see some pearly whites the first time that you use this. And if you consistently use this, your teeth are gonna be beautifully white. And I can say your girl has not used this in about a couple of months and my teeth have still pretty much maintained the whiteness that they were. My teeth were not, <laughs> it was not it. Um, before using this and so I've always wanted to get my teeth professionally um, why did I just did not want to spend that money but this right here y'all y'all teeth gonna be pearly white thank me later but I also want to show some other products from them and this is not sponsored I wish they would sponsor me but no this is not a sponsored video but anyway they're toothpaste so I was a crest I believe a Crest girl uh, about a year or so ago, but their toothpaste is amazing. They have at least five or six different toothpaste that you can choose from. But the ones that I have been using is this one is called Platinum Advanced Whitening. And um, this one has fluoride in it and the, the flavor is Platinum Mint. And I really, really love this one, you guys, to keep my teeth white. And you know, the fluoride helps obviously with um, cavity prevention, but then they also have a bunch of other fluoride um, free toothpaste. So this one is Cosmic Gel, so it's like a clear pop, a clear toothpaste. And um, this one is, so this one like has peppermint oil and it helps to keep a fresh and healthy looking smile. So I just really like these. I really like the brand. They even came out with like a lip treatment. But these are just things that you can do. Invest in a good toothbrush, invest in some really good toothpaste and a home um, teeth whitening system. And that's just gonna help you save money from having to, number one, go and get your teeth whitened whiten professionally. And that's just a waste of money. And also, when you really have good, um, a, a really good oral care routine, then you know you're preventing cavities and preventing having to be at the dentist. Like now y'all, I have braces and because I could not properly brush my teeth and everything, like on one side of my mouth, I have to now go and get a deep cleaning. And if y'all know deep cleaning suck, 
But again, you know, you could prevent these things. I couldn't prevent it because I had braces and I just could not get that side of my mouth like I could. But you know, just having a good oral system is just going to prevent you from spending so much time at the dentist. And then you, you're confident about your smile and you didn't spend a whole bunch of money. Now let's get into a little bit of skincare, well body care. I know um, these, <laughs> these body washes these days y'all, cause I done showed y'all so many body washes that I have, they could be super expensive. Like I believe um, Naterium is a good example where their body wash is like $17 a bottle. And it's just like, I remember back in the day, I used to spend about three, $4 on body wash. And it's just crazy now how much it has increased in price. So I would say that a lot of us don't wanna spend that money on those products, but we also wanna make sure that we have smooth, clean, beautiful looking skin and I can definitely say that Dove is just one of those um, brands that have OG brands that have been around and their products are just great. They make your skin look great. If they, your skin smells good, it looks good. And I can say that I would definitely replace a lot of my body washes with Dove if I had no choice or I just didn't want to spend no more money on all these expensive body washes. I would highly recommend just getting a Dove beauty bar because these are really great to clean your skin and for your skin to look great. And I really love Dove's Shea Butter. Um, so I did, I have a bunch of these, oops. <laughs> I have a bunch of these up under my sink. And then I also been loving the cherry and chia milk one. This one smells really, really good. But yeah, Dove Beauty Bars, they're great. You can really use them all over you, your body. I hear great things about um, girls saying they use it on their face. But yeah, it's just a very inexpensive. I think you can get these Dove um, body bar soaps at uh, the Dollar Tree dollar store. So yes, I would highly recommend these just to save money because sometimes these body washes, I'm like, child, who is giving $20 for a body wash? <laughs> so yeah, um, I know a lot of you girls, you like to go to the hair salon. I am one of them girls that d does not like to go to the hair salon because every time I go to the hair salon, I feel like I'm being cheated out of my money or I just tell them I want to trim and I come out with the whole like new haircut. So I have doubt to myself that I will take care of my hair at home. I will learn to trim my hair at home and it just saves me money because it's just, it's crazy nowadays how much they're, you know, charging, charging us to get our hair done. And it's like the most basic, simplest styles. And it's like, really like my mom, she goes and gets her hair done. She has a pixie cut, like no hair, just a little short pixie cut. And this lady's charging her $200 for just the wash and the style and that's it. And she barely has any hair. So I'm just like, I can't do it. I feel like I'm being gypped and taken for my money. So what I'm trying to say here is that I have just invested in really good products. Now these products are not cheap, but I feel like they help you in the long run because you can take care of your hair from home. And if you do still like going to the salon, you can go in between with these products because you're taking your care of your hair at home. And a lot of these products they do use in the hair salon like Olaplex. I see Olaplex in all the hair salons now and it's a very good product. It definitely helps with your hair health. Now I hear people say, they don't like Olaplex and some people say they do. I like Olaplex because it definitely like revives my curls, especially this um, nourishing hair serum. And this, this promises like your curls to bounce back after you've been putting heat in it. So I definitely always make sure I have this um, in, my, in my collection as well as their bonding oil. This is really, really good, especially for straight hairstyles and you do not need a lot. So I would say just make sure that when you do buy your hair products that you're just investing in them because you will see um, in the long run that you know your hair health has improved and you don't have to be going up in the salon all the time spending money because I can't stand it. Now, when I wear my hair curly, I'm always raving about this brand, but Camille Rose is another really good curly girl brand. 
that really is expensive, but it's going to help your hair look great and feel great. And you're not going to have to be rolling up in the salon all the time because I just, I am, I, I, I may sound crazy, but I'm just anti-salon because I feel like we should all know how to take care of our hair because if there were no salons, what are you going to do? So I have just learned, I didn't have no choice. I had to take care of my hair when I was like in the fourth grade. So I just had to learn it all that young of age and I just have stuck with it. And if I do go to the salon, I look at the products they're using. I look at how they're doing my hair and that's pretty much how I learn to do my hair from home. But it has saved me money because the salon prices y'all is crazy. Um, oh, and another good brand that I like too is Mazzani. Mazzani is really, really good. They have some really good products for curly and straight hair. So I really like Mazzani and they use this brand a lot um, in the hair salons. So the last thing I wanna talk about is skincare. I know if you guys watched my last video, I was supposed to get a facial, but I gave it to my daughter because I'm like, your girl's skin is just giving, it's just radiating. And I owe it all to these products I've been using. And I can say that th these products are really good products that you can use from home that's going to save you money from having to go and get facials. Because I know a lot of y'all out there, you have your estheticians. And again, they are not cheap. I just spent 250 for my daughter to get her facial. And I'm like, I couldn't have met. And then when I talked to my esthetist, she's like, yeah, you should be getting these facials probably like once a month. <laughs> your girl ain't got 250 to be given out and especially for me and my daughter so I have really been learning about my skin what my skin likes and really just creating a great routine for my skin from home and I have been definitely seeing the results and I don't feel like I need to be going and getting facials probably maybe once a year at this point so some of the products that I really like to use and I've told you guys about these products, but Alemus. Alemus is a really good brand that has really good ingredients. Um, I did recently mention this, um, but I've been really reaching for this y'all and it's the Superfood Facial Wash. This is really great. It has, it's a prebiotic gel cleanser. And I also been reaching for this Alemus Superfood Midnight Facial. I would really recommend you guys to get like um, something like this and I'll have all these products linked below, but something where it's like an overnight cream that you can let your skin, um, that you can let work into your skin and do its magic overnight. And I have really seen a difference in my skin when I use like an overnight cream. And then another brand that I have really been loving is Locatane. They really have some good products, but this serum is amazing. It's a day serum. It smells great. <laughs> It smells great, it melts into my skin, and I really, really like this stuff. And Locatane, they're another one that just has so many good products. And then I also like to make sure, which I don't do all the time, but then I'm using some kind of face mask, and these are really inexpensive face masks by Pacifica. You can get these at Target and Amazon. I'll link some of my favorites below. But these are great too, y'all, where you can just put these on, I try to do it at the end of the week, like on Sunday, and that just helps your skin overall as well. You just wanna make sure that you have a really good skincare routine. You will not have to be going and getting um, facials like that at all. The last thing I wanna talk about is nails, and I should've put this in with the pedicure, but I was about to forget to talk about it, but y'all, I was a girl who would be in the nail salon, and I'm in the nail, I would get off work, go and get my nails done, and I'm literally there for four hours getting all these intricate designs and stuff and paying a whole bunch of money. And I was literally faithfully going to get my nails done because you know you need a fill and all that. So I would be going and getting my nails done about every two to three weeks. And I'm like, this is just so much money. So I done came into the world of press-ons. One day I went on Etsy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like there are so many girls out here that create these nails with all these, you know, trending nail designs. And I'm like, why have I been sitting in the nail salon suffering 
getting home late, paying all this money. So your girl gets press-ons now, and I get them all from Etsy. I'm gonna link some of my favorite girls that do their own hand designs um, on Etsy, and they never disappoint me. And the sizing is great because I definitely have had my share of people on Etsy where I put my sizing in and they're completely off and horrible, but I, the girls I'm gonna link below, the sizing has been perfect for me and I can definitely confirm that I really like them and their delivery is great, everything is great, and I just saved so much money and my nails look good. Do not look, I broke a nail here, <laughs> so don't look at my nails but it also just saves me so much money. And what I like is that these nails are reusable, so if I don't crack them like I cracked this one, I can literally just take them off, put my new set on, and then I can go ahead and use them later. And then what I like to do too is I like to mix and match. So I have these French tips, and of course some of them have cracked, so I'll just go in, I know that looks ghetto, I'll go in and I will just put like different designs, like that's just, what I like to do to be different but yeah so I just really really like the fact that I use these press-ons because that also saves me money as well and I'm telling you guys if you go on Pinterest any whatever your aesthetic is when it comes to nails they got it you don't got to do nothing crazy they give you the glue even though I'm gonna link in my Amazon storefront front the glue that really lasts um, that's the key to these press-on nails and I love them. I get compliments, love your nails all the time, love them down, so I do not regret getting my nails professionally done no more. So anyway, you guys, those are some of my tips um, of how I've been saving money in my beauty routine and I will never look back. This has definitely helped me and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any additional tips to how to save your coin and how you do certain beauty routines at home, let me know in the comments. Let's chit chat in the comments. As always, I love you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.